Hello and welcome to All Things Knitty's Crochet Channel. This week's stitch is the Pecan Puff Stitch. It is a beautiful two row repeat and it is so versatile. You could make one large piece and it's a beautiful blanket with a built in border. You could make smaller squares like so and this would be a, a lovely coaster. As you can see the pattern is completely reversible. You can make two large squares for a pillow cover and slip stitch the edges or loads of small squares to use up all those little ends of yarn and make a beautiful patchwork blanket. So the multiple for this pattern is a multiple of three plus two and cast your initial chain quite loose. Okay, so once you have your multiple of three plus two, we will begin in the second chain from our hook with a full row of single crochet. So do three plus two and I'll get you there. Okay, so we'll begin in the second chain from our hook here and we're going to do a US single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through two. Again, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Once you have two loops, yarn over, pull through two. So continue to do that all the way across the, the row and I will get you at the end and we'll move on to pattern row two. Okay, so we're going to move on to pattern row two and using the, the this is an example, the first row of the puffs, we're going to be doing them all the way across the row. Then after that, we just do one at the start and one at the end and this uh, it's just a full row of US double crochet in between. So the pattern is really quite quick uh, to work up. Okay, so moving on to pattern row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. So the puff is worked over three stitches. So one, two and three. We're going to work two complete double crochets in the first two stitches. So yarn over, go into the stitch, Yarn over, pull through, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Repeat that again in the second stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now, the third stitch, we're going to work an incomplete double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, pull through. Yarn over, pull through just the first two loops. Leave the last two on your hook. Now, we're going to work our puff stitch right into the base of the first double crochet. So we're going all the way down here. And it's a four yarn over puff. So yarn over, keep those two stitches on your hook. Come all the way back to the first stitch. Put your hook right through to the back of your work. Yarn over, pull through and pull up a loop. So you want your yarn overs to all come to the same height. So your hook should be able to sit completely horizontally. So it's completely flat. Yarn over. Back into the very first stitch. The first double crochet, sorry. Pull up another loop. We're going to do that two more times. So yarn over, pull up a loop. And one more time. Sorry. Keep your wheel loose. Um, one more time into the very first double crochet and pull up a loop. Now, you have the two loops on the hook that we originally had and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight, nine and ten. Okay, you're going to yarn over and pull through the first nine. Oh. Once you have two loops left, you're going to yarn over and pull through two. And that's our first pecan done. So as you can see, we've worked into this stitch. So we're going to be working into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. Repeat. So work two complete double crochets. One. Two. And then you're going to work an incomplete double crochet. I would recommend, because i never done it, <laughs> keep your 
will pull some off your yar- your ball so that your puff doesn't get pulled uh, like it did on this one. So yarn over, go into the third stitch, pull through just the first two. Then working into the base here of our first double crochet, you're going to work your four yarn over puff stitch. So yarn over all the way back here and work four yarn over puff. One, two, three and four. So you've got ten loops, yarn over, pull through the first nine. You have two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Repeat. So here's our next three and I'll show you this one more time and you can finish the the second row and I'll get you at the end. So work two complete double crochets, one incomplete double crochet, four yarn over puff into that first double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through nine. Yarn over, pull through two. So repeat that. So your next three, your next three, and your next three. You'll be left with one stitch left, and I will meet you there. So continue working your pecan puffs across this row. Okay, so when you have just one stitch left, you're going to work a double crochet into the last stitch. And this just keeps your sides really nice and straight. So just a double crochet in there. Okay, now we're going to be working a full row of single crochet, but we're not going to chain anything to turn. We're just going to turn our work and work a single crochet. So you might need to pull your yarn over, go into the stitch and then work your single crochet. If you struggle with this, you can chain one and turn, but you'll be left with a little bump here. So turn your work first, then work a single crochet. Now, the puff at the very top, you've got a longer kind of stitch. So you just work a single crochet in that as well. All the way across the row, it is a full row of single crochet. Okay, so continue doing that and I will get you at the end. Full row of single crochet. Okay, so we're going to move back onto pattern row two, but like I say, we just do a puff at the start and the end of a row. Working your puff row, chain one and turn. So it's just the single crochet row, you don't chain. Turn your work, and we begin working over the first three stitches to work our puff. So work one uh, double crochet. Now, when you come to the end of this row, see this longer loop? This is the loop that you're going to do your single crochet in. If, for example, you are working this pattern and you keep uh, thinking you've missed a stitch, what you can do is grab a little stitch holder and pop it into that row. And that just lets you know where your very last stitch is. And this will be on the next row. Okay, so work one double crochet two double crochet and an incomplete double crochet. Then we're going to work our puff into the base of the first double crochet and we're going to do a four yarn over puff stitch. Once you've got the first row of puffs out the road, this pattern really, you can fly through this, pull through two. Okay, so you've done your first pecan puff. You're going to work just plain, complete double crochet all the way across the row until you have four stitches left. So continue to do that and you'll be left with four. So one, two, three, four. So stop when you've got a full puff to do and we'll pick it up together. So double crochet until you have four stitches left. Okay, so you have four stitches left. You're going to, over the next three, work your pecan puff. 
So that starts with two complete double crochet and then an incomplete double crochet working into the base of the first double crochet of our three you're going to work four yarn over puff stitch yarn over come all the way back here pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop and that's the third time and a fourth yarn over if oh sorry it was just my wee kitty yarn over pull through the first nine you have two loops yarn over pull through two and then in the very last stitch you're going to work a double crochet you will now repeat pattern row one full row of single crochet and i'm just going to show you how you do the first stitch uh, without chaining so turn your work first hold your yarn behind your hook with a one finger and then go into the first stitch you can drop the yarn pull through and then yarn over pull through two and you're going to work all the way across this row full row of single crochet Stop when you have one stitch left and I'll just show you what I mean with this little stitch marker. Full row of single crochet. Okay, so I've, I've come to the last two stitches and you might think that this one here is your last stitch because it lines up with the beginning of the puff but you have to remember we have an extra double crochet at the end. So single crochet in that one and then this I'm going to undo the little stitch marker. This last loop, as you can see, is quite a long loop. That is the one that we're going to work our last single crochet into. Chain one, turn your work, work two complete double crochet. And again, if you're having trouble catching this longer loop, you can pop a little stitch marker in. And that will just let you know where your very last stitch is. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you how to do the start and end of this row again. So your puff begins with two complete double crochet, one incomplete double crochet, four yarn over puff into the base of the first stitch. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through nine. Yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to work a full row of US double crochet. Do that all the way across until you have four stitches left and I'll show you how to do the puff one more time. Okay, so I have four stitches left. Over the next three, we're going to work our pecan. So two complete double crochet. And then an incomplete double crochet. We're going to do four yarn over puff into the base of the first double crochet we made. Two, three and four. Yarn over pull through nine. Yarn over pull through two and we end with one double crochet in that last stitch. A double crochet okay so your next row will be your row of single crochet and you're going to repeat those two rows with just one puff at this beginning and end and you will do that so for example on this one i have two four six seven puffs so i will work until i have one two three four five six going up the way if that makes sense so seven across six up and then you close with a full row of the puffs so work your pattern until you have if you've got 20 puffs you will work till you have 19 going up the way work your single crochet row and then i'll show you how to close the pattern so keep working full row a single crochet puff at the beginning double crochet puff at the end all the way until you have if you have 20 across, you'll have 19 going up the way. 
work a full row of single crochet and I will meet you back to show you how to close the pattern off. Okay, so you should have however many puffs going across, you should have one less before closing the pattern. After your single crochet row, we're going to repeat the second row that we did, working puffs right across the row. So you begin to complete double crochet, one incomplete, four yarn over puff into the base of the first, Yarn over, pull through the first nine. Yarn over, pull through two. We've worked into this stitch, so we will work puff over the next three. And so on. So you will continue doing a puff right across the row. You will have one stitch left. So your last puff, you'll have one stitch left and you just work a double crochet into the very last stitch. So that was the pecan puff stitch. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Uh, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, uh, and like I said, I should have popped up, the, all the yarns that I've used today will be in the description box below. This one is called Eeyore. I love this colour. Uh, the links are there in ways that you can help uh, the channel grow as well. Everything will be in the description box for you. So, thank you very much and I will see you next Sunday. Bye now.